in turn, good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome, welcome back to Safari Zoo. Look at everybody. No, ma'am, why are you not wearing one of our shirts? I highly recommend them. Uh, in fact, I wonder. Ooh, Meerkat 12 is pregnant, but yes, welcome back, intern. It's good to see you. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Look at all the little babies. Look at all those little baby meerkats. Ah, they're so cute. I love these meerkats. I cannot believe that our poor guests couldn't see any of them this whole time. That explains quite a bit about why they weren't as popular as I thought they'd be. Oh, this kid seems to like them. What do you think, young sir? Are you deeply appreciative of our little meerkats? Daniel Hall, viewing animals. Wow, meerkat 21 is nursing meerkat 39. It's stalking its prey. It's pouncing. Oh, so he's really enjoying himself. Oh, and this lady just came by. What'd she buy? I really like the gift I just bought. She just bought a meerkat stuffed animal, and so did he. Oh no, and she's unhappy now. Why? Why are you unhappy, ma'am? I need money, but I can't find an ATM. Oh, we can fix that. In fact, intern, that would be perfect. We need to deck this area out, but look, the meerkat plushies. They're so cute. I wonder if this little kid is going to come over here and get a meerkat plushie. That totally has to happen, but for that to happen, we do need to set the area up with a few amenities, such as another ATM. So let's put this over here. Um, you know, right out in the, the wide open is probably the best spot so that everyone knows where to come and find the ATM. Come here, ma'am. You really want our ATM. You're not going to get a picture. Come here. Come here. That's better. Let's see how much money she decides to take out. And where's he going? Going to the gift shop. We'll see what he buys. She has zero dollars right now. Miss Moon. Carol Moon. And now... Now she has... Whoa! Look at that in turn. $510 that could potentially go towards the education, rehabilitation, conservation, and well-being of our animals. So that's very exciting. I'm glad the meerkats are really such a big hit and I've been thinking about maybe like expanding their exhibit so that this is a bridge and they get to come over here and eventually combine with this big savanna area but I don't know if the warthogs would like worry them so what we might do where's little Daniel I want to make sure there he is <gasps> he got a meerkat stuff plushie oh that makes me happy and he wants to sit on a bench so we should probably get some benches uh, in the area that people can rest a second. That'd be a nice thing to do for everybody. Maybe next to the little fountain. I imagine there's quite a few families that, like, I don't know about you, intern, but every time my family went out, we, we were like four siblings and two adults, but every time we went out, everyone always had to use the bathroom. You know what I mean? And so you'd have to like sit there and wait while the whole troop goes in to attend to their needs. There we go, and what'd she buy? What'd you get, ma'am? She also got the meerkat stuff plushie. Oh, that's awesome. I wonder what other gifts like people might start getting. Grizzly bear, I, uh, giant sable antelope. Hmm, we might look into that. I want to try to encourage people to like spend their moolah to take care of Jelda. What is a gelada? Gelada. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Now I'm really curious. We might have to go through and see how many of the animals that we sell goods for we could add into the, the zoo white rhinoceros hit pack we do have a white rhinoceri i wonder if people will only buy the gifts if they're close to those animals see in fact there's some white rhinoceri right here and a, and a little little warthog you know what we might try doing in turn is putting in some of our meerkats oh look at this whole little group hi guys Oh, mom and babies, that's so cute. But yeah, what we might try doing in turn is putting in like another colony. Get over here, freaking. There we go. But we might try putting in another colony of meerkats into this area. These are not your babies. What you doing with these babies, huh? What you doing? Do you even know what you're doing? Oh, and the desert monitor is really hungry. What's going on over here then? How'd you get over here? Hell on earth! Okay, that's it. I'm, I'm done with these rocks for a little bit. I'll have to, to speak about these rocks elsewhere. Oh my gosh, her desert monitor is like almost dead because of all this nonsense. Quick in turn! Emergency rations! Life food! A couple shanks of beef! 
There we go. That was quick work. He didn't wait like but a second. And now he, he killed the little thing and now he wants to eat the beef that isn't moving. That's fine. Alright, let's get down here. Sorry, buddy. Let's heal you up. Slip some antibiotics into that meat and hopefully it'll get healed up. Curse those rocks. I'm really going to have to have, have words. Alright, so back over to our meerkats. I believe everything is going well over here. So, whew, of course, this isn't the only one of our old zoos that we need to double check on and make sure everything's all right in. So now that our zookeepers are frantically going to and fro, we have gotten the lemurs to be happy, even though we're still renovating their exhibit with new plants. The warthogs we no longer have to worry over. Uh, the meerkats are clearly very happy and exceptionally numerous. So I think it would be kind of nice if we were able to uh, like split the colonies and maybe we can have multiple colonies we can keep track of and we can give those colonies little names. Oh, it would be so fun. So we might try moving a batch of them in with the warthogs and the rhinos or even in with giraffes and the zebras who are going to visit now because it has been in like donkey years or zebra years I suppose we could say since I've come over here. Oh, watch out for the little bee eater big guy. Look at you! Since we've seen our giraffes, our mossy eye giraffes, our articulated giraffes, snoozing giraffe. But it's been donkey's years since we've come over. Look at the baby! Oh, you're so cute! You're so cute! I forgot how beautiful this exhibit is, too. Hi, buddy! Man, that's gorgeous. Meerkat 12 is going to give birth. Oh, look at the tiny little bee eater eggs! Do you see him? Oh, precious. That's really cute. All right. Yeah, the bee eater eggs, zebra doiker, nine is really hungry. We'll have to take care of that in a second too. Meerkat 20 is pregnant. All right, there's a bunch of baby bee eaters wandering by. I wonder if they're getting enough food. Oh, what, what, what's this? Oh no! Carcass of Southern Bee Eater 30. That's horrible. That answers the question of if they're getting enough food. Oh my gosh. Oh, bee eaters, hang on! Now, the bee eaters are very important because they they are helpful. A lot of the birds in the savanna areas will actually go around. Okay. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, dear. But a lot of the small birds will eat parasites off of the bigger animals. Like, oh, goodness, you're so pretty. Do you have any idea how pretty you are? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm sin significantly impressed, too. There you go. There you go. Very lovely. Whoops, dips. Very lovely. Oh, Reticulated Giraffe 6 just died of old age. Just as we get over here, too. Alright, oh my gosh! There's dead bee eaters everywhere! This is horrible! Where's our zookeepers? Why are they not attending to this? Oh my goodness gracious. Is it a bee eater that's stopping the jeep tour? What's stopping the jeep tour? I don't see anything. Oh, it was these baby bee eaters. Oh, hello everyone. Apologies for the baby bee eaters being being a bit dorky. Come here, come here. No, no, no. You guys don't want to get in the way. Stop that. Stop that, bee eaters. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. Now they're moving again. Poor little jeeps. Poor little bee eaters. You, sir, are you fully assigned to this area? Oh, he's like trying to heal the bee eaters. Where's his assignment? Yeah, he's fully assigned to this area, so he's in charge of this zone. Um, I'll get him a friend to help out because there's so many dead bee eaters. That's not good. All right, and we'll assign you here as well. And this will be a uh, bee eater keeper. There we go. So let's see what we can do for the little bee eaters and our big old giraffes. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Scooping up the poop. I wonder if we can add in some other critters into this area as well. I don't think our zebra numbers are very high either. I've only seen a couple. How many zebra do we have? Do we need a new herd? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Maybe we should keep a very low bee eater population. They don't seem to thrive here in our zoo very well. Let's adopt some of these guys out to areas that they might perhaps be more comfortable in. 
There we go. And where on earth are our... Oh my gosh, we have a lot of unhappy bee eaters. I think we probably should potentially adopt quite a few out and try to keep a smaller number of them. That's a little more manageable. They're so tiny too and they take forever to walk from one end of the area to another. I guess they're not very good flyers. Oh my gosh, okay. We're going to see the bee eaters on their way to another another institution where they probably will get better better treatment. We're trying, but they seem to be exceptionally stubborn little guys. All right, there we go. Let's just keep going down the bee eater list. There we go. And then I do think we're low on on giraffes and low on zebras. And since we have so much money, uh, a tiny, tiny bit of it from the bee eater cells, actually. Oh, and the zebra. Oh my gosh, zebra doiker. Why are you so miserable? Stop moving as part of a herd. You're gonna die. She's so distracted trying to move as part of a herd that she's like starving to death over here. That's right, go use the salt lake, get something to drink. There we go, so apparently you just have to break their herd mentality now and then, my gosh. Yeah, that did it. We broke up the herd and now they're all like, salt lake, look at them swarm on the salt lake. Oh my gosh. Look at all this. There you go, guys. Everybody's suddenly like, we were in a trance. We couldn't stop. We couldn't stop, and now we're free again. Free again. Oh, well, we'll have to keep an eye on them, too. Stubborn little things. Stubborn, stubborn, stubborn little things. Taking care of all of our zoo residents is a little bit, a little bit tricky sometimes. All right, come here, little bee eater. And we're gonna send you out too. They're just so tiny, they don't do very well. They just don't. All right, but that's okay, because even though we're kind of swapping out the itty bitty bee eaters, who probably need a much smaller exhibit to be uh, fully content and happy and healthy. There we go. All right, that should, uh, and you. There we go, that should do it. Now let's see how many of the reticulated giraffes. We're out of reticulated giraffes. We just have one. So I think we need to get more giraffes and we need to get more zebra most likely. Ooh, Lemur's about to give birth. Oh, Lemur25 just gave birth. How wonderful. And then a whole bunch of meerkats. I think it will be fun to try out having like multiple meerkat exhibits. Oh, a desert monitor egg. Wonderful. The Gila monsters are doing well. Black rhinos are doing well. We have our white rhinos. Okay, okay. Lots and lots of these guys. Spurred tortoises, warthogs, quite a few. Plain zebras. We have three. Okay, so it looks like what we are going to be doing is adding in more giraffes and more zebras. And we might see what other things we can add into this particular exhibit while we're at it. Because <laughs> we aren't doing that great with, with the, um, the wee little uh, bee eaters, it seems. All right, so let's see. Come here. Savannah, Savannah, uh, tropical Savannah. Sure enough. All right. We should get some cool names again for the zebras. Oh, and we're losing stars. All right, let's see. Uh, let's do a nice herd of six females. And then we'll add in one male for now. And eventually we might have another young male come in. Oh, look at them. Oh, so pretty. We need some good names for them too. Whoops, keep messing around with that. We do need some good names for them. I definitely want to name one of them Zelda the zebra. And Zoro will be the male. So Zora and Zelda. Let's try to go with Z names. Z names are so uncommon. This is our little male? Yes, it sure is. So Zoro. And then I'm going to name one of the females, the first female he mates with, uh, I will name Zelda. So that'll be that. Hi guys! Welcome! Welcome to our zoo! Welcome to the Safari Zone! So happy to have you guys with us. I'm going to put out like a few little places where you can get some more food. Oh, that got their attention. And then I'll put out some carrots. That's probably going to get their attention too. Uh, let's put a salt lick over, over here. And where are the guests? I'll put a scratching post right there. Whoops. Come here, African daisies. 
The giraffes are being stubborn as usual, standing in front of everybody. That's fine, that's fine. Look at everybody come for the carrots. They're like, yes! Carrots! So yummy! There you go. Hey, hey, don't be greedy! Even the bee eater's like, I want some carrot. That's adorable. I wonder why on earth the plain zebra would be interested in a monkey bridge. That's just silly. Alright, and there should be enough shade structures and everything for them. Oh, look, she's just gonna lay down right there. Aren't you cute? Waiting to mate with Zoro! Well, hello Zelda! <laughs> that was that was rather quick. It's good to see you. Nice to meet you. Uh, I guess we might as well observe the cycle of life, perhaps? Alright, so is that Zoro? There's a little teensy bee eater. You see her? Way down there. Hello, zebra zebra. Alright, is that Zoro? Oh, I, yep. So here they are. This is Zoro to the left, Zelda to the right. And they're currently uh, making new, new zebra babies at the moment. And then there's this one who just seems to be like giving them both a little lick. Man. How amazing would it have been to be able to see more of the like prehistoric or even just some of the extinct equine sort of species, these kinds of, of, of critters. Equine, I don't think these guys are equine related though. Is she pregnant? No, not yet, but she has mated with Zoro. Uh, oh, and her mother is actually Plain Zebra 10. So this is one of the zebra that has been here before. She's integrated herself into the new herd. That makes me very happy. Zoro, do you need a bath? He looks like he needs a good bath. Hmm. No, he's, he's okay. Alright. Hello, beautiful giraffe. So let's go ahead and we'll get some giraffes in here. Ooh, African wild dogs! We definitely need to get an exhibit with African wild dogs in the future. And a serval. And ostriches and lions. And, oh man, elephants. Oh, this is going to be awesome. I wonder if we could put a crane in here. I think a crane would get along okay in here. That'll be for a little bit, though. We're not going to be here the whole week after all, in turn. So right now it's just about maintaining the exhibits we have. And then we need to go and check on some of our other zoos. All right, so Mossy Eye Giraffe. I'll do one male. Let's add in uh, three females. And then I believe the reticulated giraffe is smaller. Yeah, by the looks of it. So I'm going to add in a couple females. And one male of the reticulated. And let's see how they all get along. Hi guys, welcome. Welcome. Oh, I hear somebody is very happy in the Jeep tour over there. Look at them, they're throwing their arms up in the air. They're having a party. Oh, maybe we should get more Jeeps going. I think we'll get some more Jeeps going in just a minute to try to encourage more people. <gasps> more dead bee eaters. Yeah, I think we'll try cranes. Cranes and other things, the bee eaters don't seem to be doing well in, in here. They need a much smaller exhibit, unfortunately. Apparently out of the wild, they're just not as adept at moving about. Oh, hello everyone! Oh, look at you! Oh, it's a baby, baby bee eater! Oh, is that so? Wow! Oh my gosh, they're so cool. Oh no, there's another one! I thought I found all of the dead bee eaters. Why are there more? We got rid of, like, all the ones that weren't doing very well and not flourishing in our zoo. Oh, I guess some of them are dying of old age. That's true. Alright, let's see. These guys seem okay. Poor little bee eaters having to constantly, like, look out for them. Alright, and... I don't see any expired bee eaters. Okay, I think we're good in turn. I think that we have uh, managed quite well. And I think the only thing that I really want to work on now, before we, we... I think we will try moving in one of the groups of meerkats. Maybe just a small group of meerkats. Uh, a good little, a good little uh, mob of them. And so we'll get a mob of meerkats from our current population, try to find ones that are unrelated, and move like a female and a male, which will be like the leaders, and then maybe a few of their siblings and with them, and see how that works out. All right. Uh, da -da, da -da, da -da. Where, oh, where is our traveler, Savannah? What is it called? Savannah, where are you? Temperate, Savannah. Where on earth is it? All right, now that would be temperate forest, temperate rainforest. Scrubbing the hot tropical savanna. There we go. 
Alright, so shallow water. Alright, in turn, do you have the shovel? Good job. Gently now, gently. Want to give him a little place to drink from. Over here, we need to put down some fresh, from some fresh sod. There we go. Mm-hmm. Good, good, good. And now we're going to try to smooth out the edges of this lake a little bit. There we go. All right, hopefully that'll help the animals out. They seem to already be getting in and out much, much easier. Oh, look, there's a squeaky toy in the water. We'll have to fish that out and toss it up for them to play with. All right, there we go. There you go, guys. Who's blocking the way now? It's always the bee eaters because they can't move very fast. At least that gives these guys a really great view of the bee eaters. I don't know, I would be fine. Like if I got on a jeep tour and like we had to sit and just stare at like a giraffe, I could probably be pretty happy there for a couple hours. There, that should do that. Oh, and look, somebody's peeking in. What do you see? What do you see? I want to know what you see, ma'am. Oh, her meerkat toy just disappeared from her inventory. Using the binoculars. Favorite animal, the alpine ibex. Interesting, that seems to be a favorite with a lot of these people. Cool, the binoculars can see really far. It looks like Southern B890 needs something to drink. I'm sorry, I'm trying, I'm trying. Ah. All right, and we'll have to see how we can get everything up to uh, level five again, probably more creatures. So let's see, no number of animals is great, number of species is great. We need to make more educational habitats. We need to increase guest happiness and release to the wild. Oh, and the awards and challenge goals. Do we have anything handed down challenge-wise from our bosses right now? I haven't checked in a very long time. You were approved to write an article about even-toed eaglets. They want three specific pictures. They want you to get a picture of a camel, Jim's Brock, and Tomsell's gazelle. Oh, we can do that. Jeez. We'll have to work on that real quick before we move on uh, to the other areas. All right, in turn. I think this is good. We'll start catching meerkats and experimentally moving them in here to see if they do all right. Uh, tomorrow morning, bright and early. I'll see you there, intern. Bye-bye.